kick today. Um, I got a kick from a drum break. You can hear the drum break right here. Yeah, so that's a drum break. I already went ahead and chopped the kick out of there. And uh, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is EQ it. Alright, so um, I actually already did one. But I'm going to redo one just to show you, you know, what I did. So I got the other one bypassed and turned off. I'm going to go ahead and play the kick by itself. Alright, so the kick don't sound bad, but, you know, when you EQ things, you're going to make things custom, more custom to the track, more custom to the beat. And usually I do this when I'm making the beat, but right now I'm just showing you for tutorial purposes on how to do this. So when you are making a beat, you can go ahead and, you know, customize your drum to fit the track perfectly. And usually you don't do that until, you know, you're starting to actually mix and, you know, get the beat more finalized. You don't really do that in the beginning. At least I don't. So, go ahead and get into it. What I first usually do is make a low pass filter and you can adjust it, the velocity rate right here. So I want to cut some of the high end off, not all of it, but just a little bit. Alright, and then I want to do the same thing for the low end. Because you don't want your kick to get too muddy. So you adjust the you know velocity. And it's safe to roll things off about 30 hertz. Now every kick's gonna be different, but for this one it already has a nice thud to it. I'm just gonna roll, you know, whatever's coming past 30 hertz off so it doesn't, you know, muddy up the mix. Alright. Now this is all done by ear and there's no right or wrong way to do it. So this is just, you know, one way of uh, how I do it. So you do this by ear and you're going to listen to what sounds best. You don't want to do too much stuff by numbers, at least when you're trying to sound design something. Uh, when it gets yellow or real red, that means it's getting hot. It's, you know, about to peak out or it's just hitting real hard. If you got, you know, straight red, then you might have a problem. But, yeah, basically what I did, and then I turn, I turn it off. All right, this is before. That's after. So it's definitely got more of a thud to it. And you can see what just some minor EQing can do to your kick. Now, I, sometimes I add other effects, but right now I'm just trying to show you the EQ part of it. So, uh, I hope this helps you. And look for my next video on how to EQ a snare. And um, you can kind of get an idea how to start putting your drums together. So, until then, peace.